Julie, he was working for the post office in Sanson, a new career after serving as a Capitol Police officer and an officer for the Department of Corrections. His mom says 29-year-old Spencer Barty was a loving father and a loyal community servant. He's not going to be able to see his son do those things that he wants to do in life. Flanked by her family and friend, Cruz Sherman, Spencer Barty's mom says she's glad they're her support system in the days and months of grieving ahead. I'm another mother here standing saying, when does it stop? Because until we as a society and a people and a whole get to the point that lives matter, all lives, it just has to stop. Barty is one of two people police say were shot to death Tuesday night while driving through the St. Luke's apartments off Ingleside Drive in Henrico County. His SUV sprayed with bullets and then the car crashes. Mom believes her son was driving and 20-year-old Dominique Swan was the passenger, but adds she's unaware of who he is and why they were in that area. He wasn't a gangbanger. He, he was a mentor. His passion was given back to people. Barty, known as a gentle giant, a former Capitol Police officer and officer for the Department of Corrections. He spent his short adult life in service to his state and community. A couple of years ago, his son was born. When my grandson is calling for his daddy, he's not going to be here. A father stolen by gun violence. His mom has this message for the shooter. You may have taken my son, but you didn't take my soul. You may have taken him, but I gave him back to the one that gave him to me, and that was God. So when I looked at him at MCV, he was at peace. You may have taken his life, but you didn't take me. What you took from me was the 7 a.m. calls that I get in the morning when he goes to work, the conversations that we have in the morning. I can't get that back. And as you said at the top of the show, Julie, here we are 10 days into the new year, four homicide investigations in Henrico County on the books. A longtime officer I spoke with by phone anonymously tonight says the violent crime stats haven't been this bad in decades. Reporting live in western Henrico, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.